the director, my good friend, Professor Kamkoti, Mr. Kaviraj Nair, the Chief Executive Officer of the Office of Institutional Advancement, my friend, the Dean in charge of Alumni and Corporate Relations, Professor Mahesh Panchangula, distinguished guests, many award winners, senior executives of corporations, large and small. Thank you very much for inviting me to this event. I'm very happy to be a part of it. And I'm very happy to have had some role in giving away these well-deserved awards. I must first thank the, the organizers of this event. Professor Kamakurti sent me a request saying that you should um, be our guest at this occasion. Pick any day between 10 and 20 and we'll make it that day. So, you know, I, I can't expect a better kindness than that. I picked a particular day. They gave me a particular time. I was all set to come. And then I got a, a call saying that I have to be in Madurai for a political meeting. And so I have to take the 3.40 flight. The time I was supposed to be here was 3 to 4.30. So I had to call and say, even though I picked the date, please change the time for me. So they switched it to uh, 12 to 1.30. Then I got a call saying that the chief minister is going to open uh, a new IT park in my department and you have to be at the secretariat at 12 o'clock. So then I had to ask for the time to be changed again from 1 to 2.30. And then when I finally arrived at 1 o'clock, they said, let's please have a little lunch before we go to the event. And after I sat down, I realized I was the only person eating because they had already all eaten. <laughs> but anyway, I, I just go to say how kind they have been and so how grateful I am for their kindness. But I consider it a privilege to be here because I think even in a state where we pride ourselves on the universality of education and the fact that we have been doing this relatively well for a hundred years, being the defining variable that has marked our relative progress economically, socially, developmentally, we still consider IIT to be the crown jewel of our academic institutions. And uh, IIT has had many eminent people run it, uh, be teachers, be its students, be its alumni. But I'm particularly happy that in the tenure of Professor, Professor Kamakoti, a son of the soil of Tamil Nadu, the inclusion agenda of ensuring that government school students, that those who can ill afford to pay but have the talent have been encouraged and welcomed in, as well as the extent of efforts that IIT has taken to improve the functioning of the school education department of Tamil Nadu, I think, uh, commendable. And so, you know, I think his tenure will go down as uh, one that transformed the connectivity between IIT and the broader community uh, and the state of Tamil Nadu. At some other level, I must say I'm probably the wrong guy, or I was the wrong guy to be called to this function because back when I was at business school, my uh, term paper for the communications class was uh, arguing against the notion that corporate should care about anything other than maximizing shareholder return. Uh, I said it for a different reason. I said, who appoints you God? The shareholders invested their money in you because you said this was your agenda to run this business and to deliver superior results. If you start deciding other people's what's right for society, what's right for, you know, community, what's right for social good and all that, nobody appointed you God. This is the world takes care of that. Elected officials take care of that. So you should just focus on your day job and stop building empires and creating, you know, a compounded agency problem for those of you who've studied finance. But as Keynes once said, when the facts change, we have to change our minds. And so after coming to India and profoundly realizing the limitations of government in execution, in fact, I would say almost in design, 
after a few years of a minister as a minister and two years you know effectively in charge of all the administrative departments of government um, I can say that we have deep structural flaws in the way government is set up and run. Therefore, I think the reality is that if we didn't have NGOs, if we didn't have CSR, if we didn't have corporates reaching out to fill the gaps, we would actually have much worse outcomes than we do now. I say this every time and I'm invited to places like the Rotary Club, where incidentally very recently I had the good fortune of giving Professor Kamakoti a Lifetime Achievement Award from one of the Rotary Clubs. I say it also in large corporates and in institutions like uh, IIT. Uh, CSR is a huge amount of money. Um, Mr. Nair was just telling me that it's of the scale of 35,000 crores or about $4 billion a year. Um, I think, you know, of course, there are many initiatives. In my constituency, uh, HDFC Bank is represented here. They did a bunch of work two years ago helping me set up smart classrooms in every government school. Uh, Power Finance Corporation has been doing some work. So I've, I've been the beneficiary of some CSR work. I mean, not me personally, but my constituency and mostly the schools because I, I practice what I preach and I think education particularly education of the lowest economic strata is really where the multiplier effect is very high. But very often, uh, even those efforts are a bit um, short duration because if you build these schools, the administration and the maintenance is still left to the local school district and historically they have not done such great things over time. So the next option is to uh, kind of uh, connect up with others through trust or set up their own institutions. I know a lot of relatively big philanthropists, uh, including the big industrialists, whether it's at the India level or the Tamil Nadu level, set up their own foundations and say, let's take the corporate expertise that we have in execution, in continuity, in institutional kind of skill development or, or capacity building. And so let's uh, apply our CSR through our own institutions and there we'll get better multiplier effects and I think I can't argue with that. But uh, events and uh, initiatives such as these from the research institutions where innovation is really to be developed I think are as vital if not the most vital because the reality is as a country we don't spend enough of our budgets allocated to uh, fundamental science or research or progress or development. We're all in active politics and the pressures to do short-term things usually overwhelms all politicians and all parties. So if we're really looking for long-term investment, then uh, these kinds of channels, I think, are extremely important. And I think uh, it's not surprising that an institution like IIT Madras has understood this early, has created a lot of relationships, has leveraged it over the years, and has come to the point where they can afford to give awards for their best partners and for the best uh, corporates. Even in a capitalist economy like the US, this link between industry and academia, between the needs of the local companies and the local academic institutions, starting from the community colleges all the way to the Stanfords of the world, is vital to have a multiplier effect on growth and to have a globally competitive ecosystem in that location. So in that sense, even though this is somewhat government mandated because of uh, the CSR notion, which is quite unique to India, and even though it is somewhat as a um, backstop or a make whole for the inefficiencies and limitations of government, it is still going to yield, I think, the same benefit to us if it's done right. I think we're also at a very unique time in the technology evolution, you know, not just IoT, not just the 4.0 industrial revolution, the AI, 
in many ways, it's uh, an inflection point as seminal as, let's say, the late 90s, the development of the internet, or the 80s, the development of the PC. So I think it's also a particularly good time where uh, this kind of profound research is going to provide uh, multiplier effects and benefits. And I think the director said it best. He says, even if it's low risk, the expected value is high. If it's high risk, if it's low probability event, the expected outcome were it to be uh, realized is so high that it's worth taking the risk. And I suppose if you take enough of these bets, at least a few of them will pay off and that will make everything kind of uh, efficient. In that sense, I would say that IIT, almost from its inception, has been, is today, and will continue to be a very good investment for these kinds of bets, these investments in future technologies, in creating great minds. In fact, many of them, uh, my friends, many of them are coming to our IT conference next weekend. And uh, we see the evidence of proper investments through proper institutions every day in Tamil Nadu. So on that note, let me congratulate again the winners, the partners, all those who have uh, gone along on this journey. I uh, congratulate the organizers, all the work you put in, all the decisions. I thank the jury. Uh, and I encourage all of you to keep the focus and keep the speed. And uh, I'll apologize, but I have to leave for a flight. So thank you very much for having me.